on the bus heading to the beach. That way. Bus is turned. Contacting the Parador to tell Carrie Ann and Leanne where we were going to be eating, but the people at the Parador said they'd never heard of them. So either some wires got crossed with them or some wires got crossed with our group. Worst case scenario, Leanne and Carrie Ann know exactly where the reception is. This road, uh, to put this in perspective, it's um, maybe two thirds, maybe 75% of the width of the road up to Grant's house. There's room for two cars, barely. All the roads here are just the right size for the vehicles on them, as in if the driver knows exactly what the dimensions of his vehicle are. Unsurprisingly, there are a lot of vehicles that have chips, scratches, and dents. Surprisingly, there are many that do not. We just saw the bus with the groomsmen stop and we passed it. simple lunch. You know, went to a place, uh, I don't even remember what it's called. Cafe Milagro. Cafe Milagro. Or Milan? Milagro. Milagro. It's a miracle cafe. Oh, okay. I'd already looked at the menu before, determined there was absolutely nothing there for me. At least food-wise. So when everybody went there for lunch, you know, all the, all the men, the groomsmen, Everybody who was with groomsmen and dad. Um, and you know, brothers. Well, it's just the one that's not a groomsman that's here. I did discover that they had a wonderful dessert. It's a milkshake. With uh, chocolate ice cream and peanut butter. See? I knew I'd survive down here. The bus had to slow to a crawl in order to get uh, in order to get in here just to make sure that it didn't end up you know smashing into things there's a lot of that here you turn into a driveway but you don't have enough of a turning radius so you back up and you do it again again and again. So 
is the part where we get off the bus, and I'm not looking forward to it because the bus has AC. Look, they made it. Did anybody see which way they went? We're guessing that. Somebody went this way. Let's let's check it out. I see no one, and yet I see movement. Yes, there are dresses that way. Hotel or private condos? Hard to tell. Our hotel is also a private condo place. I'm not sure how comfortable I would feel living full-time in our hotel. I mean, you can buy a suite in our hotel, but, um... And they advertise it for, you know, starting at 59000 Well, we knew that was a, an eventuality. It's true. I was just saying, you can buy a place, you can buy one of the places we're staying in, and they start at 59000 but I'm not sure how comfortable I would feel living in that place, given how, you know, I push the button to go down, and sometimes it'll just open in somebody else's suite. <laughs> hey, that could be an adventure. Get to know your neighbors. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe get to know too much of your neighbors, but that's what you do. You mean when they suddenly walk into your suite, or when you decide it's time to go exploring? Mm, well, I would go exploring. I know that. That's why I asked you. So, <laughs> probably. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't know you were using the bathroom. Whoops. Then why did you open the door? You want this kitchen? It's a pretty shady spot here, and there's a bit of a breeze. You might want to come up here until later. This isn't bad. I was expecting a lot more sunlight. I was expecting to be beaten by the sun in a beach wedding, but yeah, this is pretty nice. No, Steph, don't take it personally that I expressed surprise there. I think chances are we'll be at the front. What? Why? Just sit wherever you like. Yeah. That's everybody else. We're family. One side groom, one side bride. Yeah. It's just, don't choose a side. So you just sit wherever you like. I'm sitting here. I'm not getting up again. We're done, guy. Sean, take note. Hang out with us. They're family, too. We're family. Sitting in the back. Yeah, but that's because you were it's banished there. It's not there's a bad seat in the house. You can, everybody can see really well. Sit in the back, it's not just for the bed. I didn't say that. 
It's uh, it's actually on video. We'll just say that Carrie Ann has a progressive attitude, and she is vocal about it. I can use it as blackmail. How long we got? I don't know. Uh, not We're too on ride time now, buddy. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> All right. Fly check. Are you wearing your glasses? No, nope, don't take them off for the last one. Since I don't know when things are going to happen and I don't want to have like 20 minutes of uh, walking around time. I'm going to turn you back on when something else is going on. Of course to you, no time at all will have passed. I am a time traveler, like Doctor Who. So the word from Sean is, those four guys sitting there, when they move, I sit down, or return to my seat, or something. <laughs> Tell them, we're just here. I don't want to jump straight to the thing, let you share in the anticipation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're standing. Okay, here we go. So I just lie. 
lied to her about how much I was making before I quit because I know she's not smart enough to keep record. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> how, how much did he say? Uh, I told her that I If these guys are coming out of the breeze and the shade. She would not believe 15. Oh, I see bridesmaids. And I make more hours there than I did as a Question is, do you enjoy it? I like the kids more. I like, I like the kids. There's nothing I like for me to be. There's really nothing I like for childcare except for the children. So. Sweetie, I love you, but I want a shot of that door as things are happening. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. By standing, it's one of the blocks.
Dr. Seuss said, you know you are in love when you can fall asleep because reality is finally better than your dream. Welcome, friends and family. I can tell uh, in the splendor today, in the middle of May, in the splendor of this setting, we're gathered here for the most joyous of occasions. To celebrate the coming together of Sean and Stephanie, whose hearts and spirits are entwined as one, and who will now join together in matrimony. You were invited here to share this moment with Shannon and Miss Stephanie because you are the people who mean the most to them. The understanding and mutual respect that they bring to their lives together had its roots in the love, friendship, and guidance you have given them. You are their community. They are honored to have you here. Marriage is supreme sharing of experience and adventuring the most intimate of human relationships. Marriage begins a life of giving and sharing, nurturing and support. Boy, today, Sean, Stephanie, proclaim to the world the love and commitment you have expressed to each other many times before, and we gather here to rejoice with and for you in the new life you now undertake together. Of course, that I am delighted that you have chosen este paraíso, I mean this paradise, this beautiful country, Costa Rica, for this most special ceremony, and I sincerely hope that the beauty, warmth, and peace of this land remains with you, Shan, you, Stephanie, throughout your marriage. Queridos invitados, dear guests, during this ceremony, Shan and Stephanie will exchange rings, as everybody does, and aware. Rings are visible signs of their commitment to one another. As this ceremony proceeds, we ask that you, Sean and Stephanie community, take part in the warming of the rings. As each of you receive the rings, we ask that you take a moment to wish them health, which will kill happiness and a meaningful life together before passing them on to the next person. So when these rings come back to this beautiful couple, they for sure will contain my friends. All that which is priceless, your love, your hope, and your spirit. So please, best man, take the rings out of the beautiful box and hands them off to the closest person in front of you. Sean and Stephanie would like to thank each of you for being with them today. They know that making the journey to considerable effort for a good many of you, and for this they are deeply grateful. Although many of you don't live right around the corner, you are never far from their hearts. You share in their best and in their worst days. And you are an irreplaceable part of the yesterdays their today and all of their tomorrows. A marriage, my friends, needs the help of a community like you, of friends and a, a family. 
who will be there to stand by the couple during hard times and during happy times. Each and every person here today will witness the words that they will speak to one another and the vows that they will make. May we always do all within our power to support the union that we will make here today and to nurture the bond between these two people whom we love. So this beautiful couple asked me to do a reading, which is the first time that I will do this reading. It's beautiful. Their words from or by Bob Marley and they fit perfectly well for a couple like you. I'm very honored to read this. Only once in your life, I truly believe, you find someone who can completely turn your world around. You tell them things that you've never shared with another soul and they absorb everything you say and actually want to hear more. You share hopes for the future, dreams that will never come true, goals that were never achieved, and the many disappointments life has thrown at you. When something wonderful happens, you can wait to tell them about it, knowing they will share in your experience. They are not embraced to cry with you when you are hurting or laugh with you when you take a fool of yourself. You can be yourself and not worry about what they will think of you because they love you for who you are. In their presence, there's no need for continuous conversation, but you find you're quite contained in just having than me about. Things can never interest you before become fascinated, fascinating, because you know they are important to this person who is so special to you. You think of this person on every occasion and in everything you do. Simple things bring them to mind like a pale blue sky gentle wind or even storm cloud on the horizon. You open your heart knowing that there's a chance it, it may be broken one day and in opening your heart you experience a love that joy and joy that you never dreamed possible. You find strength in knowing you have a true friend and soulmate who will remain loyal to the promises to love you and cherish you through the years for a lifetime of happiness. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build your future. Estas son las manos, these are the hands that will love you passionately and with the finest touch come for you like no other. These are the hands that will countless times wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow, and tears of joy. These are the hands, my friends, that will hold you when fear or grief engulfs your heart. These are the hands that will give you strength and support when you give 
endure alone. And these are the hands that when they're very young, but when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. And now, Stephanie, please hold Sean's hands, palms up, so you may see the gift that they are to you. Estas son las manos, Stephanie. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong, a vibrant with love, that are holding yours on your wedding day as he promises to love you and cherish you through the years for a lifetime of happiness. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as together you build the future. These are the hands that will love you passionately and with a silent touch of comfort you like no other. Estas son las manos, Stephanie. These are the hands that will come with signs wipe the tears from your eyes, tears of sorrow and tears of joy. These are the hands that will hold you when fear or grief engulfs your heart. These are the hands that will give you strength and support when you cannot do it alone. These are the hands that, when wrinkled and aged, will still be reaching for yours, still giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch. And now, my friends, holding each other's hands, may your hands be blessed this day. May they always hold each other. May they have the strength to hang on during the storms of stress, and the dark of disillusionment. May they remain tender and gentle as they nurture each other in their in their wondrous love. May they be the relationship found in love and rich in caring. And may your hands, my friends, be healer, protector, shelter, and guide for each other. going even deeper into this ceremony. Shan and Stephanie, you know that marriage is about giving and receiving. To each other, to your family and friends, to the whole world around you. Like the ocean, there is a constant ebb and flow. So whatever you throw out into the sea will eventually wash up onto your shores, because all things are bound together, all things connect. So treat yourselves, your marriage, and the world around you with care, and be friends, compañeros, companions, and lovers forever. So with that said, Sean and Stephanie have prepared their own vows, which they will recite. Stephanie, I'm so glad today is here. You literally complete me. You're the reason that I get up in the morning, and there is no one in the world with a better match for me. We share so many of the same goals and aspirations. We love travel, puppies, good food. We both eat fish. <laughs> you're so beautiful. And if it does take you a while to get ready, you're always worth the wait when we go out. You're such a giver. And I know you're always thinking of me first. My family loves you. Sometimes I think they like you better than me. <laughs> Our children are going to have the coolest parents ever. I trust you completely. I will never hurt you. 
I will always support you and care for you. I can't wait to start the rest of our lives together. And I will love you forever. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever imagine that I would meet such an incredible man as the man I stand here next to today. Sean, you are the best thing that has ever happened to me, and I am so incredibly grateful to be marrying you. To me, you are the perfect man, tall, smart, and handsome. You are also incredibly funny, thoughtful, charismatic, romantic, and trustworthy, just to name a few. You are truly my soulmate. You balance me, you challenge me, and you encourage me. You believe in me, even when I find it hard to believe in myself. I love how we laugh together, play together, listen to terrible music together, and even cry together. Every moment that I spend with you is better than the last. Being with you is easy. Being with you is perfect. I promise to love you more with each passing day until the end of all time. I promise to be the best wife and eventually mother that I can be. I promise to always respect and support you, to appreciate you for all that you are and then all that you inspire me to be. I vow to always dance with you, go for long walks with you, cuddle you, and even shoot zombies with you. <laughs> I love you on the days that I don't necessarily even like you. <laughs> and whenever you need me, I will be right there by your side. I treasure all of the adventures and memories we have shared together, and I look forward to a lifetime more of them. I love you. So may your vows and your marriage May your marriage be full of joy, romance, and adventure, your everyday a day in paradise. May the love you found grow in meaning and a strength. May you succeed in all important ways with one another and not fail in the little graces. May you look for things to praise and actions say, Wedding bands, anillo de bodas, as we say in Spanish, anillo de bodas, are visible. Symbols of a couple's commitment and are of their emotional and spiritual connection. Many people talk about rings as being a perfect circle, having no beginning and no end. But we will know that these rings, sus anillos, your rings, have a beginning. Rock is dug, dug up from the earth. Metals are liquefied in a furnace at a thousand degrees. The hot metal is forged, cooled, and polished. Something beautiful, like your rings, is made from raw elements. El amor es como es, love is like that. 
it comes from humble beginnings made by imperfect beings. It is the process of making something beautiful where there was once nothing at all. Shan, Stephanie. Wedding rings are made precious by our wearing them. Your rings say that even in your uniqueness, you have chosen to be bound together. It's just a million. These rings serve as a reminder of the feelings you have in your heart at this very moment. Let these rings also be a sign that love has substance as well as soul, a present as well as a past, and that despite its occasional sorrows, in a more love is a circle of happiness, wonder, and delight. As you look as at your wedding band, Recuerde, remember, the great gift that you have been given and all that you have in one another. Remember that you have someone to share this life with. Never again will you walk alone. May these rings be blessed and remind you always of the vows you have taken here today. My friends, beautiful wedding, huh? Couldn't be better. You have just sealed your relationship by the giving and receiving of beautiful, powerful vows and beautiful, beautiful things. This beautiful also union is now symbolized by the ceremony where you will combine these two individual vessels. first base represents you, Stephanie. In all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. And the other represents you. In all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. Each one holds its own unique beauty, strength, and character. They can stand on their own and be whole without need of anything else. However, when these two are blended together, they create an entirely new and extraordinarily more intricate entity. Each grain of sun will bring to the mixture lasting beauty that forever will enrich the combination.
just as these grains of sand from Manuel Antonio Beach can never be separated and put it again into these individual containers. So will your marriage be a molding of two individual personalities bound together forming one heart, one love? The life that each of you experience now individually will be here after being separately united for the two shall be one. So I, I would like to close this ceremony with a blessing from the ocean. Chant and Stephanie, may your love always be as constant as the never-ending waves flowing endlessly from the depths of the sea. Just as the waters touch and nourish the many shores of the air, may your love be a moving sea between the shores of your souls. Just as there will never be a morning without the ocean's flow, there will never be a day without your love for each other. So having declared yourselves to each other, to all these witnesses, and to me, according to the power vested in me by the law of Costa Rica, but especially being embraced of the unique blessing of this natural cathedral, it is my honor and my delight to pronounce you husband and wife, partners in life, for life. You may see your vows with a kiss. Señoras y señores, ladies and gentlemen, I have the sincere and distinct honor of presenting to you for the first time as husband and wife, the señor y la señora, Sean and Stephanie Mallet. We wasted all the petals, sorry guys. Yeah, no petals for you. We wasted them all. Someone just woke up. Slept through the whole ceremony. It was very good. She yeah. woke up to cheer. Yay! Yay. 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 Yay.
I don't know how much uh, how much video I can do more. I need, I need to get pretty close to the end here. My feet were asleep standing at the front. I was like, I hope they start working again, but I hope they start walking. You get a lot of that. Hey, Sean. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Congratulations. I don't know if you heard that, Stephanie just announced that she was on time. If you didn't hear the individual words spoken by Sean and Stephanie when they were speaking to each other, don't worry, nobody here did either. <laughs> Except when they had the microphones, of course, but you should have heard that. You can always just rewind and crank it. <laughs> now these guys, they all look dressed to be here. It's, but I think this other guy, I'm not sure. Although this, this could be the snow cone guy. He just doesn't look like it. Check out the sign.
well, man. <laughs> Fine. Okay. Been like lemonade. It tasted like I was drinking a Christmas tree. I'm just going to run you down. I saw that. What is it? Fried plantain. Ah, okay. I'm gonna taste a little bit. Sure. It's not very sweet or anything. It just tastes like fried. I don't dislike it. I just, I'm not a huge fan. Uh, yeah, I don't dislike it, but I'm not like, ooh, give me another one of those. Yeah, I don't dislike it, but I don't know why anybody would it volunteer to eat one. I suppose if, you know, the alternative was onions and mushrooms or something, they said, starve or eat this, then yeah. I would do it with ketchup. Maybe some cheese whiz.
Hey, let's go see what uh, what they're offering for these snow cones. Oh, for me? Just taking a look at all the flavors. May I have a lemon snow cone, please? For good, so long as there are still people moving. I'm coming. I'll, I'll be the last one. I'm on my way. Gracias. Okay, I'm not going to hold up the phone for their wedding picture, all right? Somewhere where my face can be seen. You can see the camera lens, the camera lens can see you. 